Cooking Up with Pat. I'm Patrick and tonight we are going to make one of my favorite meals. It's lobster scargot. I know it sounds a little fancy, but it really isn't. It's easy to make and anyone who has it will be really, really pleased. It's the perfect meal for Valentine's Day. Here's what you're going to need to make the lobster scargot. These are escargot cast iron pans. You can get them at Williams-Sonoma. You can find them on eBay, Amazon, and it makes a great presentation when you make this dish. We're gonna use four different types of cheese. We're gonna use Parmesan, Havarti, Gruyere, and mozzarella. We're gonna use four to three sticks of regular butter, and then we're gonna use two sticks of unsalted butter. We're gonna use garlic, tarragon, chives, parsley, and of course, some nice lobster tails. I chopped up my chives nice and fine, my parsley, my tarragon, and I'm gonna chop up about 10 cloves of garlic nice and fine. It's probably like uh, a tablespoon and a half each uh, of the herbs. And we're going to mix it and make herb butter with the unsalted uh, butter. So you wanna keep that unsalted butter out until it's nice and soft. And then we're gonna mix it all together. And I had forgot to show you one ingredient. Um, you need some pernode, and you need about a tablespoon of that, and we're gonna add it to our herb butter. First thing you wanna do is take your three sticks of regular butter Put it in a Pyrex uh, measuring cup, and what we're gonna do is clarify it. So that means we're gonna separate it, the fat from the dairy, and we will simmer our lobster in the clarified butter. So just put it in the microwave, and you can set it for about a minute. And then we'll let it melt down and we'll see uh, if it's clarified enough. If not, then we'll put it on for another minute or half of a minute. Okay, it's almost done, I think, maybe another 30 seconds. And then we'll show you what it looks like once we're finished. Okay, we're gonna let it cool and then we're gonna skim off the top. And then we're going to simmer the lobster in the clear butter on the bottom. Okay, I took the shell off the lobster and I cleaned it just like shrimp. They need to be cleaned inside. And I have my clarified butter. I put it on the uh, stove in a little saucepan and it is simmering. And what I'm gonna do is take my lobster, put it in the clarified butter. And I am going to cook it for about three to five minutes. Okay, I cooked the lobster for about three to four minutes in the clarified butter. Now I'm going to take them out and let them cool off a, a bit before we slice them up and put them in the uh, escargot pans. These are six ounce lobsters, so what you want to do is cut off about an ounce for each hole in the, um, in the escargot dish. You can push that right in there. And once I fill all the holes, we'll get back and show you what we do next. I'm ready to mix up my herb butter. I have all the herbs in there and the chopped up garlic. Now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of pernode and we're gonna mix it up once we get it nice and smooth we will be ready to slather it on top of the lobster I know you might think this is uh, difficult it's not it's really easy all you got to do is chop up your herbs mix them with your butter separate your other butter cook your lobster in it and uh, put some cheese on top. Really, really easy. And you will wow your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, and wife 
on Valentine's Day. Here we are. We put the lobster in the uh, escargot pan. Now we're going to take our herb butter and we're going to slather it. I know it seems like a lot of butter, and but it's totally worth it. Your Valentine would be so happy that you made this. So then we put the butter on, and now we are going to put on the Havarti cheese. We'll put that on top of each one of the uh, lobster pieces. And almost done. And then we're going to take our shredded cheese. This is the mozzarella, the parmesan, and the gruyere cheese. And we're going to put it on top. You want to completely cover it. And then we are going to put it on a cookie sheet because it will get a little messy. We preheated the oven for 500 and we are going to cook it for 13 to 15 minutes until all this cheese is nice and brown and bubbly. Of course you can't have this meal without some nice crusty baguette. So what we're going to do is take some of the baguettes. We can dip them in the clarified butter. Put them on a bacon sheet. And then we're going to toast them up and use them with our lobster scargo. I know it's a lot of butter, cheese, bread, but it's worth it, especially on uh, Valentine's Day. Don't worry, we'll do some, uh, some light cooking in the next couple of weeks. Here is the finished product of the lobster scargot. That cheese is melted, got nice and brown on top. All the herb butter is marinated in the lobster. Garnished it with some uh, parsley and lemon. And we got our crostinis on the side. I guarantee you this will be the best meal that you can make for your love on Valentine's Day. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And have a great night.